With the first pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Jimmy Garoppolo. How many times does the team have a chance to draft a franchise player that would change their fortune for the better? In the 2014 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans held the number one overall pick. But what if they took a quarterback with the number one pick? How would that affect the draft and the overall landscape of the NFL for years to come? According to M. Schefter, it was rumored they were looking for a quarterback on that day of the draft night. So, what well, if they saw something special in Jimmy Garoppolo and chose them? How would it affect the overall draft and things to change? I mean, Blake Bortles could have been a Ram. Johnny Manziel could have been a Buccaneer. With that, guys, let's get started. Quick couple of notes. With Jimmy being selected number one overall, the Rams bite and take Blake Bortles' second pick, which actually works out because the Rams were actually interested in Blake Bortles, so that works out. Which means the Jacksonville Jaguars take Jadavion Clown with the third pick. Fast forward to the seventh pick, the Buccaneers take Johnny Football, and Mike Evans goes to the Cleveland Browns. Teddy Bridgewater is also drafted by the Cleveland Browns, which won't last too long, spoiler alert. In the beginning of the 2014 NFL season, Jimmy is already proven his competitive nature by beating out Ryan Fitzpatrick for the quarterback spot. Also with him being with Bill O'Brien, a former offensive coordinator for Bill Belichick from the Patriots, this drastically improves Jimmy DeGrapple's development. Instead of going 9-7, they actually win one more game and go 10-6 in the season. Browns also improved their win share by going 8-8 eight eight. with Bridgewater. Um, with the Rams, they still maintain a 7-9 season. The 2014-2015 season still ends with Seattle making the most controversial play call ever in Super Bowl history. Now, let's fast forward to the NFL 2015 draft. A lot of teams are coming off a lot of playoff loss. Despite that, things look bright for some NFL teams. The Texans release Ryan Fitzpatrick as they no longer need him, and he ends up being a Jet which is where he was going to go up regardless. The Manziel project doesn't work out too well in Tampa Bay, so they release him. Meanwhile, in Cleveland, Teddy Bridgewater to Mike Evans combo starting to make some loud noises in the AFC North, but don't get excited because the disparity will find Cleveland next season. AJ McCarron shows he's inconsistent at the quarterback spot, which gives the Vikings a number 10 spot, and they take Todd Gurley with the number 10 spot. Rams have the number 11th pick, the number one, Number one pick from the Bucks land, Jameis Winston. Titans have the number two pick and get Marcus Mariota. Because the Texans won an extra game, they hold the 17th pick and select Marcus Peters as they hope to find a complimentary corner to help AJ Boy. Sorry, Kansas City. The Denver Broncos won a Super Bowl because of a Von Miller led defense that gives substance to the meaning defense wins championships. Peyton Manning finally retires, and with that, guys, the 2016 2017 NFL season starts. Now, in this situation, Brock Osweiler originally signed the Texans for a massive contract, but we no longer need him, so we avoid that huge mistake by signing him as we have our franchise quarterback. The Texans, so we avoid that mistake, and the New York Jets, sorry guys, they actually end up overpaying him and signing him as they hope that he is going to be their savior at the quarterback spot. We actually use our cap space to give A.J. Boye a long-term deal and sign Damon Harris as Damon Harris was a free agent at the time. The Cleveland Browns suffered a devastating injury, injury to Teddy Bridgewater, so he signed RG3, who ironically gets hurt during the season. Since the Rams don't need a quarterback, they trade up to move up to the number one spot. It's actually a 49ers move with the Titans for the number one overall pick. Swap picks as they desperately need a franchise quarterback. The Eagles can no longer find a trade party to move down the NFL draft, which means the 49ers take Jared Goff, the number one overall pick, and the Jaguars select Carson Wentz with the fifth pick. The regular season starts by Houston Texans just dominating the AFC, going 12-4, heading into the playoff. The Browns take a major step back with the loss of Teddy Bridgewater. The Vikings have a solid offense, and AJ McCarron is definitely taking steps forward with the help of Todd Gurley. The Texans had the number two seed. The Texans make quick work of the Raiders to start the playoffs. The Texans move to the divisional round where things get interesting against the Patriots. Now, guys, let's keep in mind, by the Patriots played the Texans by no stretch of the imagination. They played their one of their worst playoff games. Brady threw two picks, and there was a couple fumbles on the ball as well. So what I'm basically saying, guys, is that Jimmy Garoppolo defeated the Patriots in the divisional round because of these turnovers and his ability to turn turnovers into the points, unlike Brock Osweiler. So that means, yes, the Steelers and the Houston Texans are in the AFC Championship. This is a tight game where Texas don't score until the second half. Thanks to the help of AJ Boyd and Marcus Pierce, they're able to shut down Big Ben in their offense late in the fourth quarter, giving the Texas edge. 
Now moving forward, the Super Bowl. The Texas faces in the Super Bowl, they go against the Atlanta Falcons. Now, both quarterbacks put up monster numbers leading up to this game. And I actually simulated this game. The Texans win 26-24, earning Jimmy Garoppolo his first Super Bowl, creating a power dynasty with Houston. This, this is where we stop our scenario with Jimmy G. While certain players may change the team's future for better or worse, football will always still be a team sport. It takes the right group of players to change the team into a great team. Thanks to the supporting cast in Houston, Jimmy Garoppolo was able to, to catch his first Super Bowl, making Bob McNair look like a genius. While the Browns start to look promising in the future to come, the Philly Super Bowl never happens and Brady's denied his fifth Super Bowl ring. It is clear that things in the NFL will always change by one draft selection at a time. The possibilities are endless if we ask ourselves, what if?